I'm sure all of you use a ruler to set up a margin on the side of your page before you start writing on your copies. It makes your work neat and organized. You can do that in Word too, but in this case, they are invisible margins. Setting margins in Word is very easy. Here we have an example of a typical Word document. You can see that the document has a normal margin of one inch on each of the four sides. You can change the margin to your liking. First, click on the Page Layout tab. Next. Click on the button labeled Margins under the Page Setup subsection. From there, you can choose a template, but you can also choose to make your own margin by clicking Custom Margins. This will open another box. Now, you can create your own margin by entering what amount of gap you want on each side of your page. In this case, we are typing in 2 inches in each of the box. This will give you a margin of 2 inches on each of the four ends of the document. See how this works? In Word, you can have small notes appear automatically on the top and bottom of every single page of your document. These are called headers and footers. To insert a header or footer, simply click on the Insert tab. Next, click on the Header or Footer button found in the Header and Footer subsection, which will give you different styles to choose from. Once you choose a style, it will be placed in the document and your cursor will be located inside of it. From here, you can type the note that you want to put on each page of your document. In order to keep your document neat and organized, it is very important for you to put in page numbers. To insert page numbers in your document, begin by clicking on the Insert tab. From there, click on the Page Number button in the same group where you found the Header and Footer buttons. You will see a list of places where you can put the page numbers in your document. You can put it at the top of each page or at the bottom. We chose to put it at the bottom of the page. And here's what it looks like. See how the page number appears at the bottom part of each page? Text highlighting is a very simple tool and can be very useful if used correctly. If you have a very important part of your document that you want no one to miss, then use the highlight option. It can be used to grab attention on a particular point. In order to highlight, simply select it by dragging the mouse over the text while holding down the left mouse button. Next, click the Home tab at the top. Finally, select the Highlight Text button in the Font subsection. Word 2007 has different styles of writing. These are called fonts. In order to change the font and font style, we begin by clicking on the Home tab. Next, we click on the little arrow on the bottom right corner of the subgroup. It is the button with an arrow pointing towards the document. Once this box launches, you can choose from the list of options presented to you, including changing the font face and options such as bold or italic. Other more precise options, including shadow, strike through, emboss, or engrave, can be previewed and selected as well. Font color can also be changed by clicking on the font color box. In Word 2007, 
you can make changes to the margins of any single paragraph of your document. To understand that, let us look at this paragraph. Paragraphs can be formatted using a group of options located in the Paragraph subsection of the Home tab. You can change the indentation in order to change the margin of your paragraph. Also, you can change the amount of gap between each lines of the paragraph. For example, you can have a one-line space or a double space between the lines of the paragraph. See how the paragraph looks so much different from before?